Dear friends, it is my great pleasure and honor to greet you today on this remarkable occasion, the Day of Russia. It was established back in 1991 to mark the sovereignty of the new Russia and symbolize the beginning of the modern history of our country. It is heartening to note that one of the first major international initiatives taken by the newly born Russia was the signing of the Treaty on Friendship and Cooperation with India on January 28, 1993. Since then, India has remained one of our most cherished friends with whom we stood together shoulder to shoulder in time of joy and hardship. This year marks the 75th anniversary of the victory in the Great Patriotic War. Significantly, the Indian military will take part in the parade to be held in Moscow on the 24th of June. This fact alone demonstrates not only India's high respect for the key role of my country in defeating Nazism, but also reaffirms the special and privileged character of Russia-India relations. Our economic cooperation is measured not only in figures and trade statistics. In Eastern India, there are considerable industrial projects implemented with Russian assistance. To name a few, I would mention the Barkh thermoelectric plant in Bihar, built in cooperation with the NTPC Limited, reconstruction of Durgapur and Burnpur sail steel plants in West Bengal, as well as Rurkela and Orissa, and Bokaro plant in Jharkhand. While celebrating the Russia Day, we proudly note that it is the people-to-people -people contacts and mutual affection that really make Russian-Indian friendship so strong and unique. It is especially felt here in Kolkata, deservedly called the cultural capital of India. This year, for the first time ever, Russia was the focal theme country at the 44th International Kolkata Book Fair, largest in Asia, with about 2.5 million visitors. I'm sure West Bengal remembers many jointly organized vibrant concerts. For example, the piano recital of Rinoš Kurindina at the Indian Museum Courtyard on the occasion of the Diplomats Day and performance of the Crimean folk ensemble Podvorye at the 4th International Festival of Dance and Jazz. There is no doubt that despite serious challenges planet Earth is currently facing, both our countries will overcome them and open up new horizons of cooperation in the spheres of culture, education, science and economy. Its potential is truly inexhaustible and has every prerequisite to blossom and yield valuable fruits for the security and prosperity of Russia and India and the world at large. Thank you.